Jocelyn, is, uh, I met her with uh, when I was managing, uh, helping manage Manila Mail. No? Manila Mail, yeah. And so and then uh, after a while, when uh, we used to live in uh, Alexandria in an apartment in Alexandria. Mm -hmm. And then we decided to uh, get our first house here. And siyempre, sino pang dalapitan namin kundi si Jocelyn. <laughs> jo, di ba? You, were, you, you became our uh, instant realtor. Yes. Uh, <laughs> and then because I have a column also in the Manila Mail. Yeah, yeah. And uh, ever since uh, I've considered, I've counted Jocelyn as a, as a friend. Not only as a realtor, but as a friend. Kasi... You know the whole uh, our whole experience in uh, home buying mm -hmm. was based on trust. Trust, yeah. correct. So, uh -huh. And uh, me and my wife Seni mm -hmm. uh, were very satisfied with uh, what we got. We still live there now, so. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I know. And then Rodney, I met Rodney when I started writing in the Manila Mail. And by that time also, my son mm -hmm. is like, has been drafted to the Philippine ASCALS, the yeah. Philippine National oh, the Team, the OJ. OJ. And then he asked me for an interview if I can, you know, give an interview about OJs being into the ASCALS. Yeah. Yeah. And that's when we actually yeah. like being introduced and, to each other. Yeah, and that time I was still with ABS-CBN. Yes, uh -huh. so yeah. Still it, contributing articles, uh, mm -hmm. stories for the Filipino channel. No? Yes, and but then when there right? was still ABS-CBN, Rodney is a cor was a correspondent yeah. in there here in the Washington, D.C. area yeah. until he became the editor-in-chief of Manila Mail. Yeah. And Manila Mail is the only newspaper here in the Washington, D.C. area, and it runs for 30 years. Ladies and gentlemen, Rodney Haleko. <laughs> And Jocelyn for <laughs> Hi. It's been a long time. <laughs> yeah. I know. So, can you recall yung uh, pagdating mo dito? Uh, yes. What was it like when yes. you first arrived uh -huh. here? I came here in 1994 under the petition of my mom. And then I have two. I think my son is only four years old. And then my elder daughter is like seven. Mm -hmm. And I was eight months pregnant. Oh, With OJ, yeah. See si OJ. Si OJ, yeah. Okay. I was eight months pregnant by that time. And then, but then, trust me, I was so ambitious. I was like, while on the plane, I was imagining already what I wanted to do. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. How, how was it here? No? Pagdating mo dito. Oh, too much adjustment because we came here, seven of us, at the same time. Oh. And then my mom and my brother came here first. We were living in an apartment, two bedroom, one bath, 10 people. <laughs> okay. And then when my grandparents came from California, so we're 12 people. Ano yung ginagawa mo dati sa atin? Teacher, yes. Oh. I was a high school teacher. Okay. I'm teaching English proficiency, Tagalog proficiency. Alam mo naman, even if we're Filipino, yeah. we have like Filipino proficiency. And then I teach literature also, English and Filipino literature. Hindi ka naman nahihirap ang pag-adjust dito. So that's... Like language wise, of course oh. we have accent, so oh. that thing, but at least we can, all Filipinos, we can speak English very good, so that's out of the question. But then your adjustment is more like, you know, the good thing with us, I have a very strong family support. Mm -hmm. Yeah, your support system namin is very, very strong because we're leaving 10 and then we shift between jobs. So, nung uh, padating mo dito, ano yung unang uh, trabaho mo? Were you able to use your teaching experience? No, no, I never tried because I really don't like it. <laughs> you, don't, you don't like teaching? Yeah, because it's so different there, in here, and I heard stories. So I was like, I don't think I will pursue with a teaching career because I finished communication arts in okay. St. Paul's. So I'm more like on a background, you know, like social media. There's no social media yet, but I'm more on the media. In fact, I really wanted your job, <laughs> being a correspondent in ABS-CBN. Oh no, the reason for that is because we live in Cavite. For us to get through, it takes two hours, two and a half hours to get to Broadcast City by that time. So we're, you know, transferring from one show to the other, live shows, tapings. So I do all that. I love to do that. But it's really, for me, to go to Cavite at that time, and then my mom doesn't want me to be in Manila all alone after college. And she was like, we're going to 
you know, we're going to the U.S. anyway. You really don't need to have your career in here. So I was like, okay, fine. The most convenient and economical way uh -huh. is to teach, you know, around the neighborhood high school. But it's still the La Salle supervised. It's St. Francis School. Okay. And it's Pero, just in general. So there was a decision, a family decision not to go to, the, to immigrate to the U.S.? Yeah, we already know that we're coming here okay. because it's coming from my grandma. And then she petitioned my mom, so we know eventually we will be coming here to the United oh, States. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, what anong, anong na, anong na oh, first my, ano mo, job mo dito? Yes, it's so interesting. My first job is MCI, you know, the call center. Oh, yes, in, okay. in Pentagon. It's MCI, AT&T, and Sprint, mm -hmm. if you remember. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, so what yeah, I do to, big carriers yes, to practice my English, you know, the American way also, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I practice that through call center. Just for me to do part-time, yes. Yes, okay, and then yeah. I did United Airlines mm -hmm. for like a year. Same what, thing, what we do, do reservations. Oh, okay. Because, Customer service. Man. Yes, because you know before in our country, the Basa Philippines, kapag ikaw ay work with the airlines, parang, oh, it's a very oh. good job, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. So I was like, oh, I wanted to go to Usually, the airlines. Ang yes. Uh -huh. Yeah, correct, <laughs> so, correct. So, so I was very prestige, di ba? Yeah, yeah. Yung anong yon, chaka very ano. Very glamorous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I was like, I want to go there. And then what happened is, I was like, okay. I need to move up and I have this airlines reporting corporation. I'm not sure if you're familiar with that. It's like what we are the IRS of all the travel industry. Oh. After a year, I got promoted to be a supervisor oh, okay. and I hold all the American Express during that time, uh, Carlson. Yeah. yeah, but not right now. Everything is online. I even hold the Expedia account before. Yeah. This and was then, when? Anong year na 1997 to 2008 when I decided oh. to do full time with real estate. Oh. From, from teaching to customer call service, center. service <laughs> call center. Ano, ano yung mga skills and experience na nadala mo uh -huh. for real estate. Yeah, you know, that's what I was telling. No matter how small is your job, mm -hmm. I even folded clothes in Old Navy. <laughs> okay. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know how to do cashier. Sometimes I, ha I juggle between three jobs because I have three kids to support. You know, as single mom by that time, because my husband is still in the Philippines. Yeah. So I was like, okay, I need to, to do not just one job. So in between United, I do the uh, Old Navy mm -hmm. folding clothes. And trust me, sometimes on the weekend, I do cleaning mm -hmm. home side jobs with mm -hmm. my friends. Mm -hmm. We'll make it fun. <laughs> <laughs> so those extra jobs, I, or, I did it. Since that's how you were asking about adjustment in the United States, yeah, yeah, yeah. we don't do that in the Philippines. Yeah. But in here, you do whatever job. Po lahat yun sa pag, uh, ano ng, uh, yes, the first real, thing real is, space, no? correct, the first thing is communication skills. Because you have to negotiate and all that. So I believe that's one factor that I really, really like it, mm -hmm. that I earned from all those previous jobs. And then also I have a boss that I would really like to comment. I thank her until this time because during that time, na uuna pa yung mga yung mga word, yung mga yung computers. Mm -hmm. And when she promoted me as a supervisor, I honestly came to her. I said, you know what? I don't know anything about computer. I only know what I'm doing right now as a, you know, as a supervisor. Mm -hmm. You know what she did? She gave me a big stack of uh, manuals. Mm -hmm. She was like, Jocelyn, go look for the schools and, you know, like uh, learn Word, Excel. Mm -hmm. What are those like PowerPoint? Mm -hmm. And she was like, learn all those, go to school, choose the schools, let me know. But in return, you have to teach. You have to teach what you have learned from the schools. Oh. Yeah, so that's what I did. And yeah. then when I come back, I teach Word, I teach Excel, I teach yeah. PowerPoint, yeah. Yeah. I teach Microsoft. Eh, but you naman napadpad sa reality work? I know. You know, I was thinking, sorry to say, I was thinking, I, I think I cannot do, you know, from nine to five jobs. Oh. So it's like... It's a steady. Kasi, kasi yun ang dating, uh, yes, uh -huh. and it's a steady paycheck. Of course, trust me, I'm earning a lot already, and it takes me a lot of courage 
and thinking if I really want to give up that job because I cannot go back anymore if I quit. Comfort zone. Yes, comfort, right. comfort zone ko siya. And then I was thinking, but then from that house, we bought another house right after that apartment. We bought another house and then we're 10 years then. And then it's time for us because the husbands are coming. And okay. our rule is like, if the husbands came, you move out. Right? <laughs> okay. We don't care if you uh, buy a house or yeah, you go yeah, to an yeah. apartment. So what we did is like, okay, fine. Now I need to buy my own house. Yeah. I cannot, you know, say bad things about my realtor because, you know, it's different people, different work ethics. Pero, ano, Filipino rin? Yes, oh, yes. Okay. Uh, okay. Different work ethics, you know, different style of yeah. working. Because in real estate, really, you learn everything you learn all the basic or at school mm -hmm. in real estate school but it's really experience right. it's you put your personality in right. there you right. put your character in there yeah. you put your work ethics in yeah. there so it's like it doesn't mean uh, oh magaling siya magaling siya but we still have different ways of doing it right. that's why when they say we're salespeople, uh -huh. i was like i beg to disagree we're <laughs> professionals yeah, because yeah. we have fiduciary duties we have code of e code of ethics we have laws we have rules and regulations counting pagkakamali mo lang your license is at stake right mm -hmm. right going back to yung uh, realty work mm -hmm. so how did you start when it's time for me to buy my own house, we sell that house and then all the equities we divide. Mm -hmm. So I was able to buy my own house. And then I saw, it, it's more like I went to an open house, I want to offer, so I'm feeding my realtor. Oh, I want to open it okay. and, then, and then when I, when it happened to like the the documents, oh sign here, sign here, sign here, and then I saw her commission, uh, <laughs> and I was like, yun. wait a minute, <laughs> I can do this much better. Yeah, yeah. At first, that was my intention, of course, to get to earn more money, and I said, I think I can do better than this. I think I can do this. Mm -hmm. So that's when I started to go schooling. Karamihan ng, uh, ano yung profile ng clientele mo? Uh, mm -hmm. Are they all mostly Filipinos or halo-halo? Yeah. You know why? Because of Manila Mail. Ah, Because okay. of Manila Mail, I approach, uh, was, I forgot his name. Bert. Uh, yeah, Tito uh, Bert. Bert. Uh, I approach Tito Bert and that was when the market is crashing. I said, Tito Bert, is it okay? And that's when I quit my job. So I have a full time being a real estate already. So I was like, Tito Bert. Is there anything I can do with the Manila Mail? Can you give me a space yeah. for real estate? Because the housing market is crashing yeah. and the, 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 the homeowners are not aware. So if you want, I can write something about real estate, a regular column. And he's like, okay, submit me about three write-ups, articles. So I did. And he came back to me, Jocelyn, you sound like a lawyer. Okay, I'll give you the spot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... Yun na nag, ano, dun, parang uh, nagro-roll na yan. Nagro-roll, yeah, people. And then there's no social media during that time, right? Yeah. So they call me, oh, I read your article about real estate. I read, I should say 90% are Filipinos mm -hmm. and then 10% are from different countries because like, let's say you're in the office and you're like, oh, do you know a realtor? So I have different nationalities also, yeah, yeah. but mostly are Filipinos because you know how Filipinos are. If yeah. you're good, yeah. They'll spread it out. Yeah. If you're bad, they're spreading out. <laughs> Same thing. No. When I was starting, there's no social media. Yeah. Because Facebook, I think, I think started 2008. But it's not with the you know, advertising. It's more like a personal use, right? Yeah. What I do first, I did the Manila Mail. Okay. That's a good okay. one because everybody reads it. You know, they can just grab a copy at the Filipino store. I go to the Filipino store sometimes in a, when I was starting, sometimes Saturday, Sunday, I set up a table. Hey, I'm a real estate. My name is Jocelyn. I'm a real estate agent. So if you have something like that, that's one thing. Another thing is I'm so lucky because I did not do any cold calling. 
Because for me, it's more per. I want it more personalized. Yeah. Yeah, I want it more personalized. Like you come to me and you need my service, and then let's see if we can work together. Mm-hmm. Something like that. Because I know before we were told, oh, you have to make 20 phone calls a day so you can get a buyer or the oh, seller. Cool. I'm so lucky. I did not go door knocking. Uh-huh. I never do that. Yeah, so yeah. it's just basically that's what I'm telling Tito Bert before. Thank you for Manila yeah, Mail. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. And then it's a referral. Mm-hmm. It's a referral. It so becomes a referral. Over yes, aha, uh-huh, yeah. roll over. Yeah. Yeah. But right now, since social media is there, I have my son. Who does my social? Modify yung marketing yes, and techniques. you have to adapt. Yeah. You have to adapt to yeah. the technology right now. It's scary, but it's good. <laughs> but when I was starting, Everybody was telling me, why are you doing real estate? It's down right now. And I started doing full-time 2008 when the market is going down. Mm -hmm. So I was like, did I make the right decision? Because now the market is down. What else can I do? And I quit my job. Mm -hmm. But you know, it's a blessing in disguise Mm -hmm. because not a lot of realtors know how to do short sales. A lot of foreclosures, if you remember that. It took Ay, underwater us, na sinasabi correct, nila. Yeah, it ah. took us 10 years to come back with where we are right now. Mm-hmm. But before, during that time, no one knows short sale. Bank doesn't know short sales. Realtor doesn't know short sales. And there was this one class, it's certified uh, distressed property expert. That's what you call the certification. I went to that school and it teaches us how to negotiate with the bank how to price the property so the bank will agree to short sales. So yes, I was negotiating with the bank back and forth because there were a lot, my my files are like this. (laughs) Before I was like, oh my God. And I I personally, some of them, they use negotiators, which are not real estate agents. So it's the knowledge is not 100%. But for me, I know the left and the right. So I was like, wait a minute, I can, you know, negotiate with the bank. And so it's it's a long story, but I was able to negotiate with the bank to let these people that cannot pay, like to live gracefully. And at the same time, they were given uh, the most is ten thousand mm-hmm. dollars to start with their own life, like get an apartment. Yeah. So yeah. and then their their balance of the house is forgiven. Uh, masasabi mo na is that advantageous for you or it became it uh, became yeah that's why you have to like look at the silver lining uh, and <laughs> what yeah, we yeah. say yeah because i was like why did i quit my job why did that but then when i learned i feel like you know i'm more knowledgeable to other realtors that doesn't do short sales and short sales are left and right out of 10 homes eight are short sales okay mm-hmm. so i know how to buy and sell short sales at the same time and that you know my my mindset of like earning a lot became my advocacy is like let me help these people that are having a hard time and then at least they're not paying me the bank pays for me yeah. so that's why that's how i build my sphere of influence Okay. It's like they're loyal to me because I was with them at their downtime. Yeah, yeah, you And then, me yeah, and, and then I time. keep communication with them when it's time for them to buy a house. I was like, come on, let's go. <laughs> so that's why it's just keep on like yeah. recycling, so, recycling. How is the market now? Ano? Yeah, right now the market is very stable. Yeah. That's very, very good because, you know, it's not like that. Oh. But you know what? During COVID, we were surprised. We were like this. And then during COVID, it went up. I don't know. We, I know. We thought it's going to be like, we, we thought it's going to be like, yeah, no houses, one were buying. No? People were buying houses. And you know why? Because the interest rate is too low. Today, it's kind of good because although the interest is high, it's 6.25 compared to three, of course. Yeah, yeah. But remember when we were buying, I'm, I'm not sure how much was your percentage. When we were buying home the first time, 14%. Oh, oh, oh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But you are in good, you know. Yeah, we, yeah, we, yeah, got, we not got that good, high. We got yeah, good uh-huh. terms. And then we got better terms after yung refinance. No? Yeah, uh-huh. uh, see, better yeah. terms. Yeah. That's what I tell my yeah. client. Because during COVID and after COVID, until I should say until last year or until early this year, 
like one house or oh, during COVID or right after COVID, I think the 2021 to the 2023, even last year, you put the house in the market on the weekend, you have 13 offers. Oh, that's how so it was before. Yes, uh -huh. okay. but now not like that anymore. So that's why people, that's why I said when you are pre approved of the house, regardless of the interest rate, because it's something like this. Let's say the, the, the interest rate is 3%. A lot of it's the seller's market. In one house, you are 10, 12, or like let's just say five that are competing with the house. Of course, you will put money i have one client put in more than a hundred thousand just to get the house okay. see that means you are you are willing to go above the asking yeah, price yeah. is because you have competition yeah. now let's say it's six percent there's not a lot of competition you don't need to put in a lot of oh. money in the house so it's just it's balanced, it's balanced. Oh. yeah but a lot of people doesn't understand it they're just looking at the interest rate and the price of the house. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So, 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 thinking more, it's still, it's still a good investment. Ngayon, it's bahay. still a good investment. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Parang ano? Parang edu you are educating yung uh, clients. Mo. Yes. Uh -huh. Malabas pa rin yung pagka teacher mo. No? Correct. Correct. And that was my advocacy. I was like, okay, I was clueless when I was buying my house. I don't even know the numbers. All I know is, okay, I can afford it. The monthly payment, I can afford the down payment. But I don't really know because no one educated me. No one taught me this is how is it, how is it. That's why I was like, even from the start of my career, I was like, I will have my buyer or seller knows exactly what we're doing yeah. from start to the end so they can learn at the same time mm -hmm. and then they can share it with other people yeah. to, to know what how how to do it right mm -hmm. like even before i show homes tomorrow i'm showing homes right i already sent them the numbers this will be your monthly payment this will be your these are the itemized costs that you will be paying so transparency is a you know it's very very big to me also sabi nga nila no indifference sa atin and dito is yung house, yung properties dito are yun ang wealth mo eh, no? Yes. That's how you build the wealth here, no? Mm -hmm. yung, yung, especially yung house mo, no? Yes. You build the wealth uh -huh. through that. So. Let me tell you an example. I have a client, like, I think they've been living there for 20 years. Mm -hmm. And then they're ready to go to the Philippines. We sold the house. And this is just an average house. I'm not talking about millions mm -hmm. of millions of dollars of homes it's like let's say they bought it 300,000 mm. they sold it 800,000 oh my goodness oh. paid off because yeah. of course from 300 they paid off it's 20 years imagine you have 800,000 yeah. dollars in your pocket yeah. go in, in our case going to the philippines <laughs> yeah. and with our pension yeah. we like living <laughs> Para kang hari. Correct. <laughs> yeah, in 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 uh, in my case, no man, because parang I really trusted you, eh, no? Because mm -hmm. uh, sa Manila mail nga tayo parang. Yes, ito. uh -huh. and that's how my clients are. They're very loyal to me. It's it's like Jocelyn, I want to buy the house, or Jocelyn, I want to sell the house. It's up to you. <laughs> <laughs> so I kind of like everything. And then even the documents, I'll explain to them yeah, yeah. here if you have any questions. Do you have any questions? No? Okay, sign it. And then I even give them like, you know, we may have challenges in here. So even without the problem, I already have a solution. So I tell them what may be the potential problems. So that's yeah. why they kind of like, yeah, trust si me. Sena cannot, si Sena cannot forget you eh. Kasi... <laughs> Sabi niya, ano yung, nung tinanong mo ro na gusto mo ba ito, ganang ganang, umuo siya. And then, that same night yata, you got, got, got an offer, contract, you know, something yeah. na, no, na, na mabilis na, mm -hmm. na mabilis na slow. Let me get back with you. Oh. So how would you, how was your experience, although it's like a long time ago, but how was your experience with me as a realtor? And by that time, I was yeah. just like five years. Oh, oh. In my, uh, yeah, I know. Nga, like I was saying, na talagang we were very happy because mm -hmm. uh, it was our first time, no? Correct. We, don't, we didn't own any property sa Pilipinas, eh. Mm -hmm. So in effect, it was our first time ever. Yes. Know, it's America, and, eh, syempre, uh, 
we we were kind of lost no hindi kami mm-hmm. wala kaming alam eh so, correct aha uh-huh. and, uh, and see that's really, how most my clients really, are coming to me it was really good na we we approach you mm-hmm. kasi ikaw you explain stuff ba no? yes mm-hmm. so, Tsaka na malaking bagay na Filipino to Filipino Correct. kasi mm-hmm. magkakaintindihan na tayo pag, pag tinanong. Kasi pag pa-English-English pa minsan, lalo na magbago ka dito, di ba? Sorry. Ang hirap pag... Ang hirap i-dito. Trust me. Ng... See, you speak English very good too, right? Mary, ano ang proficiency yeah. me? You write Pero English. Yung, ano, yung, ano, And I mean, then that, the, the twang. Sometimes yeah. I was like, ano yun? Tsaka yung, ano, yung housing is... You, you can speak very good English pero... If you're not familiar with the with the ano no pasikot sikot na pag may mm-hmm. pagbili ng bahay it's, then uh, y- y- uh, y- being able to speak English is not really yes. that helpful. Uh, and that's what I said experience experience you know this is my dilemma sometimes sometimes they call me most of my clients when they call me they really know that they will hire me it's not that you know they're just scouting for realtors they already know me because i was referred so it's more a referral uh, system yeah. how i do my uh, sphere of influence yeah. when they call me they already like jocelyn uh, you know like let me know trust me i what i do is i orient them on the first time of meeting so i put them expectations this is what we will do this is what you should not do and then i, I love to coach first time home buyers because they don't have <laughs> yeah. and just like yeah, what yeah, you yeah, said yeah, yeah they don't have any idea the more they follow you sometimes yeah. there are people like you know there's some oh my uncle told me it's like my my advice to my client from now on you only listen to me uh-huh. yeah because yeah. if you have all this you know they bought the property what 20 years ago it's different The loan is different before compared to what you have now. Even now, every single person has a different capability, different, you know, type of loans that they match with them. So it's not like not everybody is the same. So that's what I was telling them because naka 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 suit tailor suit for correct correct. What are the rewards aside from the financials? Financials, oh, yeah. yeah. And remember, I mentioned to you, I was like, my first in mind is like to get more money when I was yeah. starting with real estate. But then when it became like the short sales, it's more like to help people. My tagline before is like, it's not all about the money. It's all about helping people. Yeah. But now my tagline is making your dreams come true. Because when we were renting apartment, I realized how important it is the and i did not know it's called the american dream it's the ownership of the house yeah. right and you know i admire my buyer especially because they have discipline their financials they have their their finances they have discipline among themselves so they were able to buy a house mm-hmm. right and then the reward for myself trust me when you see their faces at the table when they're closing the house when we do the walk they're crying yeah. They're like, you know, it's something that they achieve, very big achievement in their lives. Yeah, yeah. And then I'm a part of their journey. Yeah. It's more like the experience and then the service that I can provide and then the impact I can provide to them, mm-hmm. especially the buyers, especially the first time home buyers. So, mayroon ka rin nabanggit na ano, yung uh, suit, lawsuit against oh, the, yeah. the National uh-huh. uh, Association Realtors. of Realtors. Realtors. Yeah, yeah. We, everybody is so... Ano yun? Ano yung lawsuit na yun? The lawsuit is they said, they said, Realtors are paid too much. But of course, I'm not a lawyer, so I cannot talk in details about that. But as a Realtor, on a Realtor's perspective, sellers are not required. They can, but they're not required to pay the commission. For yeah, so it's okay. now the buyers. So it will be the buyer. So it will be added cost to the buyer for the closing cost, for the uh, down payment. But listen to this: real estate is always the economic, you know, the supply, the law of supply yeah, and demand, yeah, yeah. right? The law of supply and demand. And then, like, if it's a seller's market, yes, as a seller, okay, I'm not paying commission. I will just have somebody that can provide commission to the agent the buyer but if it's buyer's market yeah, yeah, yeah. so it's just a matter of that so that's why i said i'm not a lawyer i cannot talk intelligently about it uh-huh. but as an experienced realtor that's where we're coming from you know real estate is the best 
uh, investment, you can never go wrong. We take pride, I take pride of my job. And it's not like, that's why, you know, I'm, I'm here for 16 years, I'm still here. Because we provide services, we provide our experience, we provide our honesty, we provide our character. And it's not like, we have also a lot of expenses, not just like what you see the commission, yeah, yeah. because we have to pay a lot of like the NBAR, the MLS, we pay our advertisement, we do our social media. So there's a lot of expenses towards that. But just like I put it this way, when you hire a lawyer, let's say immigration lawyer, who's a Garfinkel, attorney Garfinkel, you know he's the best. But you know he's expensive. Yeah. But you will still go with him. Why? Because you know he can deliver. Yeah. Yeah. You know he will take care of you. So the same thing with realtors. Uh, yeah. It's like it's like don't buy a cheap wine because you will get a headache <laughs> yeah. the next day. <laughs>